Hello everyone, welcome to Irfan CFPS YouTube channel. If this is the first time you are visiting my channel, make sure to hit the subscription button to learn more about fire protection systems. In today's class, we shall go through hangers and support of sprinkler system piping. With all of the hard work and effort that goes into designing and installing a sprinkler system, we want to make sure it's going to stay in place for years to come. Designing the support of such a system is no easy task, but if we done right, can help save lives and property. Let's begin our class with certified hangers. Hangers shall be designed to support 5 times the weight of the water filled pipe plus 250 pounds at each point of piping support. These points of support shall be adequate to support the system. The spacing between hangers shall not exceed the value given for the type of pipe as indicated in NFPA 13. Hanger components shall be ferrous type. Detailed calculations shall be submitted when required by the reviewing authority showing stresses developed in hangers, piping, and fittings and safety factors allowed. In this slide, let us go through hanger rod sizes, U-hook rod sizes and maximum distance between hanger to hanger as per NFPA 13. As we can see on screen, table 9.1.2.1 refers to hanger rod sizes. For example, if you see we are Considering 10 inch to 12 inch pipe, then the hanger rod size shall be 15.9 mm. And let us have a look at the maximum distance between hangers to hanger. Generally, we use steel pipes. So, for steel pipes, if you are using 1 inch pipe, that is 25 mm pipe, then the distance between hanger to hanger can be 3.66 meters and if we have 100 mm pipe then the distance between the hangers can be 4.57 meters as per NFPA 13 and from table 9.1.2.4 we can identify the hook material diameter based on the pipe sizes. Let's discuss about risers. When risers are installed in multi-story buildings they need to be supported at the lowest level and at each alternative level above that as long as the distance between the supports doesn't exceed 7.6 meters that is about 25 feet. Riser supports also need to be provided at the top of the riser as well as above and below offsets. Risers can be supported using riser clamps that are fastened to the building structure or through the use of hangers that support the horizontal piping at the top of the risers. Risers can also be supported by riser clamps or hangers located on the horizontal connections within 24 inch of the center line of the risers. Typically risers are supported by a friction type clamp that rests on or is secured to the floor slab. In this slide, we shall go through pipe stands. Sometimes it is impractical or infeasible to support sprinkler piping from the ceiling. When that is the case, pipe stands can be used to secure piping from the ground. For example, when supporting a backflow prevention device, when pipe stands are supporting piping from the ground, there are maximum heights in which the stands can support. Pipe stands examples include headers and horizontal runs of pipe that need support from the floor. Where applicable, the design of pipe stands should consider additional loading from other sources. Pipe stands shall be sized to support a minimum of 5 times the weight of water filled pipe plus 250 pounds. The pipe stands base shall be secured by an approved method. Where pipe stands are utilized, they shall be approved by authority having 
jurisdiction. Additionally, the pipe stand must be secured at its base to preserve the alignment of the system over its lifetime and the distances between supports as per NFPA 13 need to be maintained. I hope you learnt about sprinkler piping support and in next class we shall go through pipe schedule method for calculating water demand for sprinkler system. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to learn more on fire protection systems. Make sure to hit the subscription button below and click on the notification icon to get the updates.